Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about everybody's favorite cuckold, Huey Emmerich, alright? So before I start the video, I'm just going to say, where are spoilers from Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes, and Phantom Pain. So, Huey, father of Otacon, or Hal, whatever you want to call him, is an infamous character in the series, despite his limited appearances in the games. He's only in three games out of... There's dozens of Metal Gear games, like seven are canon, but he only has a handful of, uh, you know, he only shows up a handful of times. So, in Peace Walker, he showed up about an eighth of the way into the game, when you're going into the facility in Costa Rica, and you see him. So, he gets comically kicked down the flight of stairs by the antagonist with the dumbest name ever in any game series. I shit you not, it's Hot Coldman. He has a wheelchair because Huey has a disease which prevents him from walking. It relates to his spine. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like paraplegic or something. So he mentions it multiple times throughout the uh, three games. Huey also loves another character known as Strangelove. Now, this wouldn't be an issue if it weren't for Strangelove being lesbian. And Strangelove hates Huey so much that she just revokes his access to her facility where she was working on Peace Walker and the AI and everything else. But after you help Huey get up, you have to fight the Pupa, a Metal Gear which he created with Strangelove. And after defeating the Pupa, he gets sent to Mother Base and works for the R&D team, Research and Development. But the first wrong thing Huey did was insulting Big Boss's belief in Santa Claus. Snake, how much do you know about the U.S. Homeland Air Defense Network? Uh, I don't know much about what goes on up in the sky. What I do know is that NORAD tracks Santa Claus on its radar. <laughs> nice one. I didn't know you were a comedian, too. Huh? No, I'm serious. <laughs> it's true. NORAD tracks his... <laughs> Listen to me. Every December, they set up a hotline and... <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. He's real, I tell ya. He used to bring me presents and... Now, you can believe what you want to believe, but if you're going to criticize a 30-year-old badass war veteran's belief in Santa Claus, well, something's wrong with you. Like, come on, man, let the man believe. He also helps create Metal Gear Zeke, which messes up uh, MSF when they make a nuclear weapon for Zeke. Now, this wouldn't be an issue if it weren't for the IEA wanting to, you know, IE, AE. Yeah. Uh, it's an acronym for this International Nuclear Committee. Uh, Pazos who kind of hijacked Zeke, causing destruction, and it was sunk at the bottom of the ocean with the nuke. So, when the IAEA wants to inspect Mother Base for nukes, Kaz and Big Boss say, nope, fuck that, not gonna happen. But Huey decides to, expect, to accept the inspection, or he just uh, contacted XOF and Cypher, Strike Force, led by Skullface, to destroy and strike the entirety of Mother Base. So when Big Boss is off rescuing Paz and Chico, XOF is in a chopper formation flying to the base to pretty much destroy it. So while MSF is being played like a fill, like all right, he is being escorted out via chopper to work with XOF and Cypher for nine years straight. So we have a medic and Big Boss in a coma, and what Huey does is he just says, I'm not going to work with them, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to work with uh, Cypher for nine years straight. So, Kaz and Big Boss uh, worked on the base for months, obviously. So you can imagine how they felt when Huey came in, <laughs> did a lot of bad stuff, destroyed their base, and then tried to get away with them. Fast forward nine years, okay, it's 1984, and it's phantom pain time. So, after Venom and Big Boss wake up in a hospital in Cyprus, they leave and make a new mother base. I say they, but realistically it's just Venom, the medic, uh, because Big Boss just says, fuck that, not working, you know, I'm just gonna claim to be him and he'll be me. So, after some time, they're contacted by, you guessed it, Huey, trying to escape Cypher. So, you get him out, and then another Metal Gear comes to you, this time it's Sahoyanthropus. 
So, the so Holanthropist was designed by Huey, and it, it's not good. I'm telling you, they, they're trying to kill him, and you have to get away and extract Huey without dying. Keep in mind, there's this huge mech that's just chasing you and Huey. You have to manage to sneak away, right? So after successfully escaping, Huey works on a battle gear, which you never actually get to use. Now, you can either blame this on Huey, or you can blame it on the game itself and Hideo. Whoever you want to blame it on, you weren't able to use it, even though Huey claimed he needed all this GMP and research material and people to build it. As well as killing Strangelove and claiming it was an accident. Uh, but he later admits that he actually did stuff her into the AI pod and suffocated her. He also killed his old boss, Skullface, the antagonist of Phantom Pain, uh, which led to XOF, likely out of mercy or pity because Kaz and Venom blew his legs and arms off with his own pistol. He also released another strain of a deadly virus, the vocal cord parasite virus, and begged Snake not to kill them to keep the strain alive because he wanted to mess up Mother Base again for XOF and Skullface and Cypher. So he's trying to make him look like a victim. He's trying to make Venom look like a... Um, he's trying to make him look like a messed up person for putting these people out of their misery. He begged him not to kill him, you know. And throughout this, he always claims to be the victim, and he tries to get mercy and pity from other people, and make them feel like they're wrong, not the other way around. To add to it, he never really did help around the base and just complain about everything and everyone and whatever he had to do. Eventually, he gets exiled off Mother Base after trial in which he claims he didn't kill anyone. Obviously a lie, given how Skullface and Strangelove died because of him, as well as countless MSF soldiers and other staff, indirectly because of the destruction of Mother Base in the Caribbean. He also had a uh, Solanthropist that he destroyed you know, brought back to the base, and either he helped a bunch of punk-ass kids repair it, or somehow they repaired it themselves. I'm going to go with Huey helping them. After getting exiled and thrown into a boat, he lives to America to raise his son Hal. Little did he know, he would get cucked by his own son. Hence why everybody calls him a cuck. It's because his own son fucked his, you know, mom. But it's not biological. And, you know, he's tortured multiple times, yeah. But, uh, in all fairness, reflecting on his resume of lying, being deceitful, and really messing up other people's lives, he, he just, it's very deserved, the torture he got, you know. So, thank God that my birthday was after I exiled him so I didn't have to see his cringe ass at my birthday party. Like, seriously, man. I was happy that I didn't see him. I'll see you guys later, and uh, make sure not to be like Huey and get cocked and just fuck other people's lives up. Signing out.